We are 12. Go Hawks! Regular season episode. Skippity Jets to 12th man noise. Hawks fly to victory over Cowboys. Welcome to another De Compass 77 video and to another We Are 12 Go Hawks. The Seahawks 24, Cowboys 13. We won it. Yes, we won that week three game in Seattle. And I have to say that we deserved it. We deserved it. We were fantastic. I have waited and waited and waited for some time now for a performance like that. That performance was very, very, very solid. And yes, okay, there are still moments, places to improve. However, however, a lot of positivity, a lot of positivity. And in a way, you could go through each player individually and mention something that they did really, really well. I can't do that for this video. Don't want to make it too long. <laughs> um, but I have to mention, for example, Earl Thomas. Two interceptions, for example. Seven tackles, I think it was about, something like that. And yeah, just overall a commanding performance again. McDougal, fantastic. Broke up a very, very, very important play during the game. Also commanding, commanding figure as well. Russell Wilson. This game from Russell Wilson was kind of different from, from what I, for example, have noticed and become used to. Russell Wilson getting the ball and just, just throwing it really, really quickly and making those plays. Receivers making those catches. May, you know, for example, Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett, what a, what a player he is becoming. He's had a very good start to the season and he continued that against the Cowboys. A touchdown and numerous catches as well during the game. Fantastic, fantastic stuff from Tyler Lockett. Chris Carson, a player who I thought would have a good season, is having a good season, a positive season. He is improving. Also a touchdown for Chris Carson in the game. Uh, as for Brown as well, he got a touchdown. Yanikovsky, some field goals. So all in all, a very, very, very good performance from the Seattle Seahawks. The Cowboys, you know, they, they tried, they did. But it was, you know, we were the better side. We were the better side. And as I said, we have deserved it. We've deserved that, you know, so it's now one and two. Of course, disappointed in the previous games, but this is where I feel that if we continue to play the way we did and build on that and improve on that, I think we will make the playoffs. I'm still saying that. I'm still saying that. But yeah, I mean, facing a team like the Cowboys, never easy, but we passed the test. We passed the test and I'm, I'm delighted. And to be honest, I didn't want the game to end. I really didn't. I was enjoying the game. It was a fantastic, it was a fantastic game, basically. Well, one, one moment that I really do, did like in the game was, was Russell Wilson throwing to Brandon Marshall at one point in the game where Brandon Marshall made the play, caught the ball, we gained those yards. And then Brandon Marshall, he, he, um, he just started doing push-ups on the turf. You know, on the field, it was, it was, it was quite, I like it when stuff like that happens, you know, the way players are happy, the way they express themselves in, in, in that kind of way, it's, it's positive, it's positive. And as I said, this, this performance, the first game of the season at Century Link, it needed that kind of performance. The 12s were loud, you know, the fans, they were re really buzzing and and I think that that was that got to the players as well, and also to the staff. And and you know Pete Carroll, Pete Carroll. I you know watching the watching the uh, the videos on YouTube and, and the, the the film that of how Pete Carroll you know lived the game. He was living the game. He was living each play. He was you know he's enthusiastic. He was he was passionate about every single play. And that's the kind of coach you need, and that's the kind of people you need. And, I th and although, you know, there have been changes, that we, uh, you know, we know, the team is growing. The, the, okay, the O-line, it will get better. I'm sure it will get better. The O-line will get better. That's probably a, mo a place where, that, you know, there are improvements needed. 
it hasn't it wasn't all good maybe that was another reason why Russell Wilson had to make those throws so quickly in this game because maybe maybe he kind of felt that that you know there was a danger of being sacked I think there was a one or two times he, he, he was sacked but not as many as in the previous games so it was definitely an improvement there as for the you know the plays on the defensive side there's a huge there's a huge improvement you know Bob, Bob Wagner was back he was playing Brad, Bradley McDougall as I said Earl Thomas Shaquille Griffin another good game Trey Flowers Mingo he had a, he had a, uh, made one massive play in a game making a sack forcing their uh, forcing their quarterback back 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 and you know they lost a lot of yards that play so yeah we've got we've got it's good it's good it's good of course improvement as I said but it's good this game Seattle Seahawks 24 Cowboys 13 I'm happy so will the 12s go 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 Hawks go Hawks go Hawks